Hi, in this tutorial, I'm going to show you how to create a private category for hidden Easy Digital Downloads products. To do that, we're going to use Easy Digital Downloads, which powers your online store, with one of our plugins at Bantu Media, Password Protected Categories. Now, Password Protected Categories lets you create a whole section within your Easy Digital Download store, which is completely hidden from public view. When your users log into the website using their usual WordPress user login, they will suddenly be able to see your hidden private categories and the products within them. And there are lots of benefits to doing that. For example, you might have a public shop, but you have exclusive products which are only available to logged in users of a particular level. You can even have multiple user levels so that your basic Easy Digital Downloads customers maybe don't have access to your private content, but maybe you've got another level for members who have access to exclusive content within your store. And you could either mix it up with all the rest of your store or you could display it separately and I'll show you how to do all that now. So for this tutorial, I've got a basic WordPress test site which uses the Avada theme. You can use any theme you want, of course. And I've got one public category which has six download products in it. Behind the scenes, there are two plugins that you need. One of them, and I'll just show you now, is Easy Digital Downloads. Um, that's the free e-commerce plugin that you use for selling digital products in WordPress. And we also need the password protected categories plugin by us at Bantu Media. And that is what you will use to create your private categories in Easy Digital Downloads. So you need to install and activate the plugin, set up Easy Digital Downloads in the usual way and go to the password protected category settings page and enter your license key which is needed to make the plugin work. When you've done that, go to downloads categories. As you can see, at the moment I've got a public category within Easy Digital Downloads, but what I want to do is create a private category. So I'm going to call it private category and give it a slug. And then I'm just going to tick private. This visibility section isn't normally available in digital downloads. That is added by the password protected categories plugin and you want the private option. You could use password protected, but that's different. Password protection just allows users to enter a password in order to unlock the category and they do not have to have a user account on your WordPress website. So if that's you, well, we've got plenty of tutorials on how to set that up with easy digital downloads. For this tutorial, you want logged in users who have an actual user account in here in your WordPress admin to be able to see your hidden products. So that's what you want private for. That's how they differ. And then you click add new download category and it will appear up here in your list of categories with private. So the next thing to do is to go to the main downloads page and put one or more download products within your private categories. So I'm going to add um, a sample free product to my private category. And I'm also going to add sample product to my private category. So now we will go back to the public download store and we're gonna see how that looks. So I'm gonna to go to downloads. As you can see, I can see sample free product and sample product in the list. So I'm going to open another browser window. Let's go incognito where I'm not logged in. And I'm going to enter the URL of my downloads page. It's making me log in because my site is password protected. That, ignore that, that won't happen on your site. And as you can see, it is different. So I'll go between the two. This is me logged in. At the top of the list, I've got sample free product and sample product followed by the sample digital download. In my logged out example, it goes straight to the sample one. So I have lost two products because they are private. So that is my main downloads page. Um, the ones in my private category are not appearing. And so the next thing to do is to think about how you want to structure your download site. You may want to have a drop down or something like that off your menu where you will link to your private categories. Um, I'll show you how to do that now, just in case you want to do that. 
So back to the WordPress admin. If you go to, actually first, we're gonna copy the link of our categories. So I'm gonna right click on private category view and I'm just gonna copy the link. So that's gonna give me the URL of my private category so that I can go to appearance menus and what I want to do is create a custom link. I don't want to just go to download categories and select that because that will only appear to logged in users. That is how the plugin is designed to protect private categories and their content. So instead of clicking download categories, I'm gonna add a custom link, which kind of tricks the plugin really into letting it appear in the menu. So I'm gonna call it private store and add that to the menu. So we've got downloads, which is all of my um, public um, and other content. I could add a link to my public category if I wanted as well. You could do whatever you want. And I've got a link to my private store. So I can have all of that. And then I'll refresh the page to check the menu. And I'll just go in incognito as well to show you that you'll still be able to see that even if you're not logged in. There we go. So because I've added it as a custom link, you can have that to your public store. So if you wanted, your public store could have links to your main public categories and your hidden private category. Or if you don't wanna do that, you can not link to it from anywhere. And instead, they will just automatically appear on your main store page once people have logged in. So have a think about how you want to structure your public and private areas of your store and see what works for you. Uh, it's pretty flexible and the key thing is that once people log in, they can see the private uh, content, which other people can't. Now it's worth having a um, conversation about user roles because by default, only logged in administrators and editors will be able to see the private content. For most um, e e digital download stores that have private areas, you'll probably want other levels to be able to see that too. Um, that's up to you. So um, what we usually recommend is using a plugin called User Role Editor to modify your user roles so that they can read private content. I'll put a link on of a separate tutorial on how to do that. And that makes it even more flexible so that you can choose which user roles will see your private um, your private download categories and the individual downloads within them. And it's also really neat because once you put a product within a private category, all the products within that category and any subcategories will instantly be hidden and made private as well. So you don't have to uh, mess around by making every single product private. You just by simply making the category private and putting the products in that category, they will all be private. So um, you can buy password protected categories on our website, barn2.co.uk. It comes with full support. Um, and so get in touch if you need any help getting it set up. I hope that was useful to you.